Welcome to the Daily Word. I'm, I'm really glad that you've joined me and thank you for doing that. Now, for today's Daily Word, we're going to go into uh, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, and right, at, right around verse 6, uh, verses 6 through 9. And here, Jesus is in a, in a sort, sort of a discussion, debate, altercation with uh, the Pharisees, with uh, religious leaders. Um, and, the, and the issue is about ceremonial hand washing. And Jesus says in response to, to their complaint about Jesus' disciples not following the ceremonial law, um, their, their tradition is this. Jesus replied, verse 6, you hypocrites, that is to say you play actors, you, you who put on a good show, but there's something else going on behind the scenes in reality. You hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. For he wrote, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And that's where we're going to kind of camp out for just a couple of minutes here on this, this whole idea, concept of being, uh, uh, having a heart that is far from God. What, is that, what does that look like? What's the indication of that? How do we keep that from being true about us? So he goes on to say, their worship is a farce. Okay, so we've got a really good indication here. Their, their worship is, is false. It's just a show. In fact, uh, the word farce seems to indicate that there's, there is a certain sort of twisted irony to it, that it's, it's actually doing the opposite of what it's meant to do. It's meant to, to honor God, to attribute worth to God, to be a humbling before God and celebrating the goodness of God. And instead, apparently, it's, it's actually the, the opposite of that. It is a farce. And then he says, okay, what's the indication of that? For they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. For you ignore God's law and substitute your own tradition. Then he said, you skillfully sidestep God's law in order to hold on to your own tradition. So their worship is a farce. Their worship is really working against what are the true purposes of worship, revealing a heart that is far from God, specifically because of how they deal with God's Word, with God's law, with the Scriptures. They are manipulating God's Word so that they can sidestep the true principles, the, the true intent of God's Word, and substituting in their own purposes, their own desires, their own ideas, putting themselves essentially in the driver's seat, putting themselves in control and authority over the Scriptures rather than yielding to what God's Word actually says. And Unfortunately, this was not just the Pharisees at one time way back when. This is something that, that comes up continually, time and time again, in even the church of Jesus Christ. We can point to numerous examples, and we don't, we don't really have time right now to get into this, but numerous examples where, where people will claim that what is true and right is, is actually even the opposite of what God's Word plainly says. And, and I just, I just like to speak with clarity about this, that, that if, if we are somehow promoting an agenda that is contrary to the plain Word of God, um, can I, may I just say, we are wrong. We are off base. We are actually revealing a heart that is far from God. A heart that is close to God, is yielded to His Word, is humble before Him. Says, you know what, I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. I'm going to put my trust fully in the Lord as He reveals Himself, His will, His way, His truth in His Word. And so, may we have hearts that are close to God, 
hearts that are humble before God, hearts that are devoted to the Lord, hearts that truly worship God, that attribute the true worth that God is due. He is God. And um, despite what we might in our brokenness like to think, we are not. We are not God. And so we draw near to God with our hearts. We give Him our devotion because He alone is worthy. And may it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And until we get a chance to speak again, may God bless you and keep you.